can't see you. That's true. That's the same as that video I done the other day. Oh, I don't think it makes much difference around here. I'm not going to squeeze by him, am I? We're all out for bike rides today, look. Some people don't have the whip for their vehicle, do they? Oh! Drop the clutch. Feed it. Road is terrible. Oh, fucking lorry. Side, no traffic. How wrong can you be? Flat Heath. Let's hope this fucking road surface changes now, shall we? Get a decent road surface, please. I don't know why Swain's coming through here, I'm sure. On a Saturday morning, when everyone should be indoors. I can ride my bike in comfort and peace as I want to, as fast as I want to. again because Kent has got some lovely countryside and you can have some lovely rides out in it there's some quite nice twisty bits but there's some also some very dangerous twisty bits like this one that you wouldn't want to come hairing round People out walking, horses out grazing. They're supposed to be running, I think, them too. 
carry a water bottle, which I don't normally carry a water bottle if you're out for a walk, do you? Anyway, so here we are, Kent countryside, lovely, nice-ish, nice-ish sunny day, sunny-ish day, Ninja Cruiser's running nicely, still got it, haven't got rid of it, behaving yourself with that concern, and um, learning to love riding. Like these guys look. Pedal, pedal, pedal. So much easier of an engine. Oh, just go like this. And we're into 30 limit. Through somebody's village. I respect people's villages. They choose to live here. They should have respect. Lost of a fortune to live in villages, you know. More expensive to live here than it is in the town. Oh, much nicer, of course. Oh, I'll cycle this out. I know he's not a like a brigade cyclist, but he's a cyclist, isn't he? This village we used to use a lot. These young bikers to ride down to this village quite a lot really. This is the village of Lenham in Kent. We used to frequent the pubs down here occasionally. Dog and bear. But we're going back a long time. Back to the 70s. Back to the 70s. When all the psychedelic fun was going on. But we were having bikeadelic fun. Oh yeah, this is one of the villages we used to visit. The village discos. Then you remember them? Village discos. Didn't have nightclubs. We had to go to discos. They were called village discos. In the village hall. Oh, a load of fun though. Never any trouble. Here we are on the A20 now. Doing 70 miles per hour and hopefully you can hear me above the wind noise. That's why we are out today retesting the microphone and the camera. Not particularly going to talk any, about anything um, in particular. Just out for a lovely ride. Commenting on what's around us. The lovely Kent countryside. Saturday morning. Not too much traffic about on this road. There was just now on a bloody country road. Yeah. Believe it. You think you go out in the country for a ride, there'd be no traffic. And there it all was. All out in the country. Now this uh, this is the A20. You might recognise it if you live around here. Or you might not if you don't. Uh, this is a famous Victoria's nightclub for all you ladies that like men strippers that's what they have there oh, God. Oh, God. there we go and uh, oh, it's lovely lovely out here today zooming along getting that ninja cruiser to stretch its legs for me gonna slow down though just 40 limit into another village this is the village of Harriet Chum. This is where the A20 CAF used to be, that we used to go to occasionally. That's now been pulled down. <laughs> that's a housing estate. Ah, that's where it was, back there. How things change over the years, eh? It's not like it used to be, you know, you hear the old folks say. And I find myself saying that. So I must be one of the old folk, I suppose. I don't feel old, but... That's how your sort of brain goes. You turn into an old git, a moany old git. But hopefully you can enjoy the scenery and the, and the ride over my moany old git moaning. 
beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> Lovely day. This used to be, this here, this piece of road, used to be unrestricted, you know. It used to be able to do 70 miles an hour many years ago along through here. And by cracking, we had some burn ups through here. That's a lovely bit of road, the A20. But now it's all restricted to 40s and 50s. And you can't get your blooming knee down on the twisties because you're not going fast enough anymore. But uh, oh, it used to be good fun. But I suppose more traffic about now. You've got to slow it all down, haven't you? You've got to restrict it all. Look, we're coming into a non-restricted bit now, but you can only do 60. Back in my day, a non-restricted meant 70. No matter what road it was. But just because this is a single dual carriage, a single carriageway, a single dual carriage, you fucking stupid old idiot. A single carriageway, you can only do 60 now. So it's fast enough, I suppose, the amount of traffic there is about. The amount of building that goes on, you get houses right on up here, there and everywhere. So you've got to look out for people coming out and drive where they never used to be one. So, as you can see, good old Ninja Cruiser is loving the road. Loving doing it 60 miles per hour. I don't think I want to do much more than that nowadays on this sort of road. Well, I do occasionally, but... Um, it's fast enough, it's still fun, you're out in the, you know, out in the open, you've got the wind blowing through your hair. Have you? I haven't got any hair. Um, no, got, it's nice, isn't it? It's just lovely being on a bike. It makes you feel alive. And it's bloody good to feel alive, I tell you. Because I do know what it's like to feel not alive. No fault of biking, of course, that was just a health issue. Which has uh, been documented in another video, so go and watch that one on heart attacks. If you haven't already. Uh, I might do all my... I might redo all my videos. I know you're looking at the videos, I might have you. But, um, when I watch them now, uh, um, with the quality of video camera that I'm using now, Oh, how and the quality of microphone that I'm using now, hopefully, he says, is still testing. Um, you know, I, I could make much better vlogs. So, I might, I might just cover the subject again, you know, part two or whatever. And then you'll be able to see the difference. You'll be able to hear me for a start, hopefully. Um, you know, I might, I might just go through all the videos. Um, you know, redo them as uh, improved version, should we say. Uh, I might not. I don't know. Until I get time or not, really. Got the bike around for a ride, Nod. Yeah. Big bike, I see. He nodded. On his big cruiser. He recognised the Ninja Cruiser. And nodded to it. Hello there, Mr. Van. Thank you. Quite leery sometimes. Not often, but sometimes. I haven't forgotten how to do it. Dual carriage won't do 70, so shut up. Telling me I can only do 60, a little voice in my head. I thought you was coming round here then, because he's in that lane. Otherwise I would have gone through there a lot faster. But there you go. The Ninja's loving it! The Ninja Cruiser, loving this Saturday ride on the A20. This is how we used to ride it. Very little traffic on it though in those days. But certainly wasn't a car wash over there then. That was a, that was a garage, Harris Motorcycles. Anybody remember them? Yeah, Harris Motorcycles with his... Uh, 
used to have a Jaguar, a pickup Jaguar that he had made. So it was a Jaguar at the front and a pickup at the back. And he used to, if he went out and bought a bike, he used to stick it on the back of his Jaguar pickup. Harris Motorcycles. There's a name from the past. haven't improved much over the years, I've got to say that. You'd think the roads would be silky smooth now, wouldn't you? They're not. They're not. They're rumpy bumpy. But well, they've always been around Kent. There's something Kent has never spent his money on, I'm afraid. It's, it's nice roads. Go to Sussex, they've got lovely roads. Lovely roads here. I mean, some of the roads here are right, but most of them are full of potholes. As I'm sure everyone's noticed. Get off my arse van. It's 30 through here. Not 50, 30. Here we are, through uh, Beersted, oh, that lovely old car. Coming through Beersted, this is the, the A20 part of Beersted, the, the posh part is over there somewhere on the right. Um, down to Beersted Green, that's the posh part. But houses aren't cheap in this part, believe me. That's it, keep looking there. Oh. Be reversing out into a main road. I'd love to be a copper. I'd pull them all up. Let's put the visor up, see how it sounds in. green sunglasses. Lovely. Yeah, so this is um, a nice sunny ride really. Lovely day. As I said before, the Ninja Cruiser is loving being ridden. I've put, uh, I've put, what have I put, 800 miles on it since I've had it in two months. Now that is quite something really. I bet the old bike thinks, cool, this is how it's supposed to be ridden. It's supposed to be taken out every day. Because if you think, it had 5,000 on when I bought it. Um, and it was 20 years old. What's that equate to? 250 miles a year. Bloody hell. That's not a lot, is it? three years mileage in two months because I love riding it it's a load of fun and that's why I bought it to have fun because life should be full of fun you should better do what you want with life as long as you've got the money to do it um, I've got a lot of money don't get me wrong I'm not rich by any short um, of imagination I'm uh, <laughs> Not rich at all, actually. I scrimp and scrape to get things that I want, but um, I still want the fun, the fun aspect of life. Had a lot of fun yesterday. Played golf with my son. That was fun. Um, played in a monthly medal. You think this thing's got seven gears? Yeah, played in a monthly medal yesterday. Um, and I shot. 
that's really under my handicap. I don't know if any of you bikers are interested in golf. Probably not. You like getting your hands greasy rather than playing in golf courses. But um, there might be one or two who like playing golf. I know Baron Von Grumble plays golf. But yeah, um, I shot three under my handicap. Handicap's 13. I played to 10 handicap yesterday. Unfortunately, done it in the middle. But you have to hand your card in to the handicap committee. So I will now be getting cut. I'm not sure they're going to cut me to 10, but they might cut me to 12. Hopefully, hopefully they'll get away with that. But yeah, it was a lovely day. Couldn't do anything wrong with the golf. Well, I did cut the rubbish shots, but other than that, it was just couldn't put a foot wrong. It's great. It was like getting payback on the golf course when it gave me an heart attack <laughs> earlier in the year. So yeah, I got payback yesterday. Mind you, it was the first time in all this. You know, I've been back golfing. I had my heart attack and then uh, gave up for a month. Um, well, I had to, I had to rest for a month after having two stents fitted and being on loads of drugs and whatever. Um, but, but after a month, I was back on the golf course, but I couldn't, couldn't play like I used to. I just couldn't hit the ball properly. But I say, yesterday, it all fell into place again. And I was playing like I'm supposed to play for a 13 handicapper. So, hopefully, if any of you know anything about golf, I might have won a medal. And if I have, it'll be my first medal that I've won in Division 1. Because I'm a Division 1 player, a 13 handicap, my course. She got a red head and a blue head and six little dresses on. What's that all about then? That's a late home from the nightclub. Huh? Yeah, so um, as we say, life's fun. I had fun yesterday, as I say. And I'm having fun again today on the bike. Scaring people with this scary noise the bike makes. This awesome power. Acceleration speed. What are you waving at? Here we are in Maystone Town. So it's Maystone because there's loads of traffic. There's uh, All Saints Church over there, and that big towery thing. Looks like a castle. All Saints Church. Oh, look, there's a meter man. The dreaded meter man. Oh, there's one of them Ondas with the um, is it Doville, isn't it? The Doville. Quite like the look of them, but I don't have to. Oh, bloody hell. You coming in here, are you? Come on then. I'll be a motorcycle outrider, shall I? How about that? 
Hey, that was a policeman then. Holding up the traffic for him. Uh, oh shit. Oh, that'd have to be him, wouldn't it? Oh dear. Oh dear, broken down in his car with his trailer behind me. Never mind. Yeah, this is Maidstone. This is what Maidstone's like on a Saturday. Heaving with cars and fishermen. This is the old bridge. I've did this along this, <laughs> this bridge. I only had this bridge once. Didn't have the other bridge over there. When I first lived there, first moved here, we had one bridge in Maidstone, and all the traffic came over this bridge as a two-way traffic bridge. That shows how the volume of traffic's increased over the years, doesn't it? This new McDonald's, 